Y254 Imagine Thank you for staying with us on Y254 News and it is at the best point of this bulletin whereby we get to discuss about issues affecting people in the society and tonight we talk about women empowerment and to make some corrections Jane Moticia is a country director and the Women in Africa organization and Benedict Nzinzi is a mentor for adolescent girls. Thank you guys for finding time to talk about this topic and a brief background of, of what women in Africa is. Um, women in Africa is a group that of women that have come actually in Africa, not just Kenya. Mm -hmm. We have people in Nigeria, people in South Africa, people in Ghana, people in uh, Tanzania, mm -hmm. all over. Where um, it's a movement of volunteer women mm -hmm. who want to actually feel we feel we are empowered, whichever level that we are empowered, mm -hmm. and therefore we feel we can actually empower someone else, mm -hmm. either the mothers or the girls or okay. whoever else, to be able to change mm -hmm. the things that we feel. If we had been told when we were younger, this mm -hmm. would have changed. So our mission is to lead, empower, and transform. Okay. Okay. and to make girls know that they can actually be producers mm -hmm. and not just consumers. Okay. They can be breadwinners. Mm -hmm. You realize that most of us, in actually globally, not just Africa, mm -hmm. we grew up with the mentality of the woman sits at home yes, and, and the man takes brings. Care of the yeah. children. Yeah. So even when you say the breadwinner, mm -hmm. Just psychologically, you actually mean the man. Mm -hmm. And even when women are doing something, like when you have a female pilot, when you have a BCD, mm -hmm. you put the gender. Why don't we just say the pilot? Mm -hmm. We'll be saying the female pilot. Okay. When you're asking the kids what you want to be, you still find that the, the kids are talking, the, the girls are saying some things that we feel they're very feminine, mm -hmm. the boys are saying some that is very specific. Mm -hmm. So just changing that mindset and knowing and helping people see women as human beings mm -hmm. and helping the women themselves, the girls, the women, see themselves first as human beings mm -hmm. before they think of themselves as. Is, is female. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for you, uh, Bernadette, uh, you're dealing with mentorship. Yes. We know not not very many people like taking uh, people under their umbrella and decide to guide them in every stage in life because mentorship without follow up is not mentorship. Yes. So, would you tell us your journey on mentorship and what uh, do you push the girls to be and what do you push them to view uh, everything around them? Yes, actually, this is one of the core of the organization and also the actually, it's like a movement. Mm -hmm. So the thing is that we do empower them. Mm -hmm. Number one is by changing the mindset. Mm -hmm. Number one, you change the mindset. Mm -hmm. You make them believe in th themselves. Then also there is follow up because when we, for example, we can we do uh, we, we go to we, we we hold talks. Like for example, in schools, mm -hmm. we want girls to be equal partners okay. with boys and also believe in themselves mm -hmm. and bring the same same thing that a boy can bring home. Okay. So the follow up is that we, for example, we can choose a particular school. Mm -hmm. We go there. Mm -hmm. We go, we take one. Uh, we take, for example, a seminar. Mm -hmm with particular points. Okay. Those points we will follow up again. Actually, we can do that for a year mm -hmm. and even after. Okay. So it's one of the best things that has happened for mm -hmm. when you, the, the, the girls, when they believe in themselves, yeah. like for example, the time we went and spoke to children mm -hmm. and young girls who were actually uh, were doing, going to do their KCP. Mm -hmm. And you could see the change mm -hmm. in that girl, okay. the change and the believing in ourselves, the resolution that girl made. Mm -hmm. And also, actually, we hold teachers to be our partners, okay. the parents too. Mm -hmm. So you see there is all round approach okay. in the girl child. Uh, so, Jane, how do you, how would you, what would you say as a fam, uh, as a country, where are we at as far as women empowerment, women taking leadership both in the public sector and mm -hmm. in the private sector, where are we as a country? I would say we have really moved on. We didn't have strides, but mm -hmm. we are still very far. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there was a report that was released uh, last year late about the C the women CEOs on the list, the Canada yes, listed yes. in MSC. Mm -hmm. And I think we only had six so female yeah, six CEOs. Yes, yeah. six female. And even if you look at the, the, the statistics of the labor market, you'll mm -hmm. find that uh, women stall at a certain level. Mm -hmm. We go, we go very, we all get to the job market, we grow and after a baby management level, mm -hmm. then people don't go beyond there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. They, there'll be very few CEO women and ABCD and the rest, they just at management or you go to your assistant and you retire. Yeah. Yeah. assistant mm -hmm. or you get a certain level and that becomes a comfort zone mm -hmm. so this empowerment is just not for the young girls mm -hmm. it's even for us as women to know that we remove that uh, impossibility mindset mm -hmm. you can be mm -hmm. and the first thing that I tell people is if you can't dream about it mm -hmm. if you think you can't mm -hmm. you're right okay. if you think if you don't take time to just think um, where do I want to be what is my vision mm -hmm. um, 10 years from now what do I want to 
to have with my career? What do I have to have with my family? Mm -hmm. What do I have to have with ABCD? Mm -hmm. And just have that balanced view of what you really want to have. Eh? Mm -hmm. Because empowerment is not just about careers. Mm -hmm. Empowerment is not just about wealth. Empowerment is something that is well-rounded. Mm -hmm. It means to live lives that are actually balanced. Because for a very long time, women have just focused on the family aspect of yes. their life. Yeah. And the men have been able to balance mm -hmm. family, world, career, spiritual, and all those things. Eh? But the woman has always been able to give up everything else for the sake of the family. Mm -hmm. And because of the same thing, we have seen women being abused again and again, including physical, including people dying, because you feel like you don't have any options. Because because the one who is bringing the bread home, the one who is earning a living, yes. he's the one who's calling the shots. Okay. So you don't have a say. You can't even tell another person that I'm being abused. Mm -hmm. Because if you say this, you don't know what your life will change to. Okay. So it's that aspect of telling people, it has to change, and especially mothers who are not exposed. Mm -hmm. We realize we cannot empower our kids whose mothers are not exposed. Yes. Yeah. Because they're the first caregivers. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then at home, if the girl is being told, you can't do this, that's your brother's. Mm -hmm. you, you can't, you're a woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to go to the shop with your father, you're told, no. Mm -hmm. You stay home, take mm -hmm. care of the baby, let your mm -hmm. brother go and mm -hmm. get to know, support the uh, dad. Jane, I think you've said that most women will get into the job market mm -hmm. and get as an assistant position and be comfortable. Yeah. They not go up to mm -hmm. managing directors to see and everything. Benedict, what do you think makes women not climb the ladder as we see uh -huh. men do it? Is it that women have taken it in themselves and say that it's not our position to take? Yes. Or is it that these opportunities are not availed to women? Actually, as Jen has said, mm -hmm. it's all in a mindset. Mm -hmm. We, you're given something and then you say, I'm okay with this. Mm -hmm. And actually when it goes deeper to gender roles, you know, we mm -hmm. are, you know, like every community talks about a girl should do this, mm -hmm. a boy should do this. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to JDs, they don't say, for example, your job descriptions, like in the, in, in the labor market, mm -hmm. it doesn't tell you for a woman it is this, mm -hmm. for a man it is this, you have to deliver. Mm -hmm. You have to do what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. So it is a changing of the mindset. Mm -hmm. It begins from you then you believe in yourself. For example, if a promotion is coming up, then you're supposed to, uh, to apply for that. Mm -hmm. We need to have more women come out and you need to believe in yourself. It is all in you because you are all it takes okay. to make that move. Okay. Maybe you can you just top up on a bit on that. Okay. Eh? Some of the things, I'm also a HR professional, and I think some of the things that I've seen are cutting in the group of women, yeah. uh, things to do with, first of all, uh, the branding. Mm -hmm. We don't run ourselves like the brand. You go for a meeting and you just prepare how you look, but you don't prepare for the meeting. Mm -hmm. So when people are contributing for the agenda, you're actually mm -hmm. quiet. Mm -hmm. And most women keep quiet actually in meetings mm -hmm. and stuff. Even mm -hmm. in just staff meetings or board mm -hmm. meetings mm -hmm. or just management meetings. Mm -hmm. This woman has been put there but she's quiet. Even in parliament we see, mm -hmm. you'll be seeing very few women voicing out and the mm -home. rest are either quiet or they yeah. don't even yeah. show up for the yeah. meeting. Mm -hmm. And when you keep quiet, people will never know your value. Mm -hmm. So they start sending you to go and make tea. Mm -hmm. And yes. then also because of how we have been brought up, eh, we start thinking like if they still there and people are sitting, it's my it is your one to go and serve tea. I don't have a problem serving tea but that should not be your only contribution mm -hmm. in that for them. And okay. you should not serve it because you're a woman. Mm -hmm. Serve it because you feel like serving people, mm -hmm. but not because you feel, because I'm a woman, it's now I'm seated here, yeah, yeah, you know? Okay. So that's one of them. And then f the failure to contribute to the meetings. Mm -hmm. So the men are talking and they're saying things that you thought about five minutes ago, mm -hmm. but you were like, you, you didn't believe in yourself. Yeah. Some, mm -hmm. some aspect mm -hmm. of self-confidence and esteem. Mm -hmm. So you're like, what if I say this and it's wrong? Mm -hmm. Then the man thinks about it uh, minutes later and, and, we, and we clap for them. Yes. We also clap for him. Yeah. And then the other thing is women, like to play modest. Mm -hmm. You want mm -hmm. to talk about your achievements, but it's like it's like you don't want to be seen like you're bragging mm -hmm. or like you're being proud of what you're trying to say. Mm -hmm. So every time you start with apologizing. I don't know how you take mm -hmm. this, but my opinion is, mm -hmm. I don't know okay. how you guys will take this, mm -hmm. and then you present, and then after that you start saying, I hope that made sense. Mm -hmm. The men will come there, or very confident women will come there, and they're going to say what they think. Uh, Without apologizing? First of all, because they'll have done their research. They mm -hmm. know what they're talking actually makes sense mm -hmm. in that value, you know? And when they, so they say they go like, that was my brief presentation. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope we get to have the follow-up actions and ABCD. Because mm -hmm. they are sure about what they are saying. Okay. But when you just limit your uh, preparation to minutes and to areas that you're supposed to be showcasing yourself mm -hmm. to how you look physically, mm -hmm. then the okay. other thing is actually dressing inappropriately. You okay. dress in a way that you're not comfortable yourself. Mm -hmm. so and therefore, in the meeting, you're not even comfortable to even volunteer to do the presentation. Mm -hmm. Or you're seated, but the whole time you're getting like this. And mm -hmm. you're this mature manager, and it's just uncomfortable for you. Okay. Um, and then again also, I've noted for the men, 
they actually take the risk. They even apply for jobs that they don't qualify fully. Yes. Yeah. They are missing one, two qualifications, but, but they, they still, still apply. apply for, you. for the woman, you go like, oh, I'm missing this particular one. I've not finished my MBA yet. I don't mm -hmm. think I can apply for, for this other one. We'll apply with pursuing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let us look at some of the uh, strides that have been made recently in the U.S. Uh, during the midterm elections. Mm -hmm. We now have 100 women serving in the House of Representatives. Mm -hmm. We have uh, 12 women in the Senate. We have in Kenya. We have. Uh, for example, in Kenya we have 22% of mm -hmm. women. Yes. In, Rwan in Rwanda, they are, it's Rwanda yeah, is the yeah. leading mm -hmm. African mm -hmm. country with a very mm -hmm. high percent on women who are serving. So how now do we empower women to go out there mm -hmm. and secure these jobs, secure these opportunities without feeling sorry? The one for political... Every, every, every either aspect? the public sector mm -hmm. or, or the private sector. Mm -hmm. Benedict. Number one, I'm thinking, in my view, mm -hmm. Uh, the, uh, you should wear the right hat, mm -hmm. an example. If you're a mother, mm -hmm. you wear the right hat. Mm -hmm. If you're a CEO, mm -hmm. wear that hat mm -hmm. that fits there with no apology. Mm -hmm. Because you are qualified to be there just yes. as any other person. Mm -hmm. So that is one of my views. And as, in, as, in, as Jen says here, mm -hmm. it, it depends. Because a man will go for that, that he knows that I, on, I only miss this. Mm -hmm. So if we actually, uh, if we actually made strides, and also applied. Mm -hmm. You also apply if it is, uh, for example, if it's a business, even an uh, ordinary juakali. Mm -hmm. Believe in yourself, do what the others are doing, mm -hmm. and try. Even if someone is bringing you down, whether you, it can be your colleague, it can be your fellow women, it can be other men, believe in yourself and also plan mm -hmm. yourself very well. I think planning comes is with key. is key mm -hmm. in all that. Uh, we have the issue of an equal pay. Mm -hmm. I've had people complain, both uh, in Africa and mm -hmm. internationally, mm -hmm. whereby I am doing the same work as my male counterparts, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. but I get paid less okay. yes. mm -hmm. and it's paid more. Mm -hmm. So how now do we bring out this conversation? How do we make sure that these things do not happen? Because mm -hmm. if I have an MBA mm -hmm. and you have yours, we get into the office and we're doing the same Job, uh, yeah. jobs. Mm -hmm. why, should, why should you get higher than me? So how do we curb this gap? It can, only, it can only start with the women themselves. Mm -hmm. There are things that you have to do for yourself. Of mm -hmm. course, as a company, if you're organized well, you put systems mm -hmm. that make sure they equal pay for equal work. Actually, it's a minimum by the government, equal mm -hmm. pay for equal work. Mm -hmm. But then there's also the power of negotiation. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So if you're given what you're given, and because of whatever other fears that you have, mm -hmm. you don't feel confident enough to actually negotiate for more because of the value that you're going to bring or whatever other issue, mm -hmm. then you end up settling for that. Okay. And also because you're not brought up to speak up. So this man works very hard and is able to show of that power of that confident woman, mm -hmm. that empowered woman, mm -hmm. works and is able to show whatever, whatever that they are bringing on the table. Mm -hmm. They are not modest about their achievements. They are able to be seen to be adding that value. Okay. Then this person is able to actually go and ask for, for more pay. Mm -hmm. And like the woman who was supposed just to sit at the back mm -hmm. and is just comfortable mm -hmm. with what I took as. Okay. Yeah, as long as I have this job for me, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Then that will affect the, the okay. gender pay. Uh, as you wind up, because time is not on our side, I'll look at three challenges mm -hmm. that would make us not have future women in the field because we talk about the future and think that the future is only for our children and our siblings but the future is ours too because uh -huh. in 20 years time a person who is 50 now is not going to be working but mm. they'll need the person who is yeah. probably in high school right mm. now mm. to have all the abilities that they need we have teenage pregnancies we have early marriages and we have fgl mm. how do we fight this to make sure that we prepare these women for what is coming a, a comment from each one of you. Let's start with you, Benedict. Uh, number one, I'll, I'll go to the core. Actually, mm -hmm. parenting. Mm -hmm. As we are parenting, we should also f uh, we should also try strive to have equal parenting for both the m b the boy child mm -hmm. and the girl child, mm -hmm. because they will move together in the workplace. Okay. They'll move together as partners. Mm -hmm. So you need to empower them, mm -hmm. and um, in areas where we really had uh, uh, mentalities that brought the girl child mm -hmm. down mm -hmm. as a parent. As a leader, where you are in, mm -hmm. you should enforce this so that both are equal partners, so that we don't have unbalanced, okay. uh, un uh, un unbalanced outcomes, mm -hmm. which we are seeing today. Okay. Yes. Uh, Jenny, Jenny, comment on that. Uh, for me, I think it's about um, dropping the the can't mindset because mm -hmm. you grow up being told you can't do this, you can't, especially for the girls, yeah. you can't do this, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. And even even for the women, and even just because we can't win this alone, the mm -hmm. men have to be that's on board for us to have people who are empowered. Yeah. So even for them, for the for the for the society mm -hmm. to know that a child is a child, you don't have to celebrate and throw a party when mm -hmm. there's a baby boy mm -hmm. and, and there's a, mm -hmm. there's a baby girl. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just it's like any other baby that has come to the field. Mm -hmm. So you just knowing that all these people are they're mm -hmm. just human beings and they can both add value. Okay. Mm -hmm. and they should be given equal opportunity and they should be given equal chances and again the, f the structure of the brain 
doesn't have a gender. Mm -hmm. He does know a male brain and female brain. Mm -hmm. I think those who study brains will tell you a brain is a brain. Mm -hmm. So again, as a girl, as a woman, as whatever that you are, just go out there knowing that you should visualize as a human being. Mm -hmm. Don't keep saying, you know, I'm a woman, you know, I'm a woman. And that goes to women like us who are working. Yeah, it's true. yeah where we still feel like you come by yourself this car, you come by yourself ABCD, mm -hmm. because you're waiting for this man, to come because and that's how you are told that mm -hmm. this can only be achieved by men. Mm -hmm. Including even in marriage setups, mm -hmm. where we most women actually don't own property. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. because they are, they, are, they are not captured that way. To actually begin, they can actually own stuff, and they can actually have things running on their own. Mm -hmm. They can't have a business running on their own. They can't be the, the pilots, they want to be the, the flight attendants, you know, all those mm -hmm. things. Okay, yeah. uh, so last question. Mm -hmm. How do we rightfully empower women without making the men feel it's like we are overpowering mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. or stepping on them? For me, it's about uh, making the men also understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Like for women in Africa, we are not we are not fighting the men. Mm -hmm. We are not. F even when we go for empowerment programs, we actually have the men and the boys, the fathers and the mothers in our mm -hmm. sessions, mm -hmm. because we want them to appreciate that there is no point of not educating a girl. If you don't educate a girl, when the boy will be going to the university, the girl will be getting married at that yeah. age of mm -hmm. 18. Mm -hmm. So what have you done? You are, you are again imp increasing the poverty cycle. Yeah. Yeah. If you just look at the examples of what is in the market, people who have gone to school, the women, they turn out as better citizens. Their kids, after that, mm -hmm. live a better life. Okay. They go to good schools, mm -hmm. they get better medical care, and everything is better for them than a woman who didn't go to school. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, is for both men and women, mm -hmm. the society, to know at the end of the day, uh, we're just human beings. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, I also want to add on what Jaina said. When women in Africa uses the woman as an entry point. Mm -hmm. You cannot be a jack on of all trades. Mm -hmm. You have to have what you want to do, mm -hmm. but it is inclusive. Mm -hmm. So we use the woman, the girl, mm -hmm. as the entry point mm -hmm. to empower her, her networks. Mm -hmm. The networks can be family, the networks can be a workplace, the ne network can be a religious place. Mm -hmm. So when we use her as an entry point there to be at least to have voice and to be able to work with them. Actually, we do inclusive. Everyone is okay. in the program, mm -hmm. but you must have an entry point of the person who you will touch mm -hmm. so that they touch the other. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much, guys, for really finding the time to come and share uh, all that with us. That is all we have for you tonight on Y254 News Updates. If you're a lady out there, whatever you feel you want to conquer, I just challenge you, go and do it better and with a lot of confidence, knowing that there's no difference between what you can do and what a man can do. Good night. My name is Patricia Morioki.